Hey guys, Ron Bond, Bondoville Construction here today. Um, we're doing a patio for this customer today. Um, they got an old patio we're ripping out and a deck. They want to get rid of all that and put some stampcrete down. So we're unloading the little bobcat machine. We're going to see what we can do with that, get these pavers out of here. These ugly pavers we're going to pull out. And then, like I said, we're going to rip the deck down, haul all that away. That's uh, step one of this project. I'll show you what we're up to. We gotta rip that uh, fence down, so. Where do you want the bucket? Uh, maybe right here in the gravel. All right guys, so, like I said, we're unloading the machine here. Got some pallet forks on the little guy. Um, taking these, these ugly pavers here out. So there's a long walkway here. Goes back to this back area behind their house. We're gonna rip this fence out of here. Somebody already took up some of the pavers. I guess the neighbor wanted them, so that'll save us a little bit of work. Rip this fence down, move that hot tub, get rid of this black box, rip this whole deck down. This whole deck's gone. Gonna be gone so railing obviously. They want to move the hot tub out farther, like out into here. Push it out into this area. And this is all gonna be stamp for you guys. We're gonna stamp all this. Evan. Any words of wisdom? Words of wisdom? No, I didn't think so. I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing. All right. That's what we're doing. Hey guys, Bondo here. So we had to move this hot tub and uh, it turned out to be a lot heavier than I thought it was. 
So I had the little Bobcat M50 here. I thought I was just going to, you know, pick this thing up and slide it back. Well, it didn't go so easy. So we put some 2x10s from the deck that we ripped down along the side of here. And I was able to kind of pick it up and get it onto those 2x10s. And then I actually ended up running a strap around it and pulling it back with the machine onto the 2x10s. And then we went to the other side and we were able to push the thing onto the 2x10s. So we were able to move it that way. It still had a little bit of water in it. The customer said they had drained it, but it still did have a little bit of water in it, which probably didn't help. We couldn't really budge the thing, the four of us. Here I am, I finally got it, like I said, on the other side, and I was able to push the thing. So we had to move this hot tub so that we can pour a concrete slab that's going to extend off of the other pad, and uh, that's where the hot tub's going to sit. We also had to run some conduit underneath there and run a new wire for the hot tub, so that was actually part of the job. So we were hired, like I said earlier, we had to rip down that deck, um, move the hot tub, dig everything up, prepare it, and we're going to pour some stampcrete here. So this video here is not going to show the stampcrete. Um, that would be too long of a video. So we're, I'm going to do this video on the prep work, and then we're going to, I'll put together another video here in a couple days on how we, we're going to pour this thing. I'm going to pour it in two different pieces. Um, it's a pretty good sized patio, and then we got to do it in the middle of the day, so... Um, it's been pretty hot out. We live in central New York, so um, it's just been hot out lately. So I don't want to pour this thing out in the, the hot sun. Done? You're so strong with that thing. That? You're so strong with that thing. It is. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, we got it all ripped out of here. All cleaned up. We made two trips. One trip with all wood to my house. I'm gonna have a little uh, burn, get rid of it. And this is the second load. We got all the pavers on there, more wood. There's like 60 of these pavers that ended up being still good. A bunch of two by tens that I'm gonna save for form lumber. Might as well, still good two by tens. And we're going to head to my house, unload all this crap, grab uh, the excavator, and that's what we're doing. Alright, we got the excavator and the track buggy. We got the little bobcat, we're going to throw the lumber on there. There we go. Got to deepen this ditch here, or put a ditch here. We got a pipe coming out of here. There's a sump pump line. We got to drop that down, straight down. Make a ditch, hand dig that down through there. Pop it out to daylight. We're gonna dig these beams out of here, and uh, this looks pretty organic. This material here. We're gonna dig that down and bring some gravel in there. Some probably crushed rock. What we're up to. Okay guys, so I'll speed this up for you. So we're underneath this deck where the, we ripped the deck off, we had to dig this down. The, the soil was a little too deep and I had some 
kind of looked like topsoil in there but actually once we dug the top off it was all gravel this whole area here their yard and everything turned out to be gravel so it was kind of good we were able to uh you know we didn't have to bring in any gravel because there was pavers in here and it was all stone dust it had about six inches of stone dust in it so what i'm doing here is digging the digging the gravel down getting the topsoil out of there like i said there wasn't much topsoil getting that out of there it was like just bank run gravel the whole yard you know just natural occurring gravel there was it wasn't any clay or nothing in this lot so it was kind of nice so we just dug all this down and then uh you'll see here in a minute my son jason gets on the little bobcat m50 and he pushes the the stone dust over top of this and we use we actually use the stone dust that we used every bit of the stone dust that was under the pavers like i said they had six inches thick under all those big pavers so we pushed it right off it had some fabric on top of the um dirt and we just pushed it with the bobcat i used the excavator a little bit but jason pushed most of the stone dust right over it so it worked out good we were able to use the material on site we didn't waste anything and we didn't have to buy any gravel so that that was a kind of a win-win right there I mean, a lot of times in our area everything's clay so it's kind of nice once in a while you'll get into a job site that's not all clay because if this was clay i would have had to dug out dig out a lot more so you know when you're prepping your job you got to know what kind of soil is in your area and uh, adjust it accordingly obviously if you got clay you're gonna have to dig stuff down deeper but we just happen to luck out on this one i'd say in my area probably 90 percent of the work i do is in clay you know just nasty clay dirt so you have to put a good gravel base down or we use crushed rock a lot of times so if you guys are enjoying this video go ahead and hit the like button for me that'll help me out on youtube and if you're new to my channel my name's ron bond everybody calls me bondo we have a little concrete business you know home renovations and stuff that we do but during the summer we do a lot of concrete work a lot of foundations um stamp creed we do driveways well, new dura foundations we do a little bit of um, concrete block work you know, a lot of different masonry stuff it's all residential stuff guys so i try to teach you everything i know i've been doing this for over 30 years so if i can help you guys out I'm good at answering any questions that you have for me. So, you know, if you got any question on what we're doing or why we did something, shoot me a comment. I'll be glad to get back with you on that. And if you if you're not a subscriber already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You know, you you're gonna get a lot of a lot of videos on my channel. I got over a hundred videos now. And uh, we during the winter time we do some home renovation stuff. I got a lot of insulation videos and stuff on how to super insulate your house and stuff during the winter because I buy houses and fix them up that's what I do during the winter time uh, we're not doing the concrete obviously in New York because it's snowing so we uh, we do the house renovation thing so try to give you any tips I know on that too I've been doing that for not quite as long as the concrete but almost as long probably 25 years I've been doing the fix up house thing so thanks again for watching guys um, at the end of the video here, I'll show you what we're doing, what, what we got done here, and then uh, we're going to do a part two on this where we actually do some stamp creep. We're going to stamp this thing.
got our pipe in. We're just bedding it now. Comes out there. This is a sump pump. Runs along here. We're just burying it. Pretty much got it buried. Well, the pipe is at that height right there. Yeah, it was before. We got it down deeper. And it comes over here. And we catch this eave. Eave trough. Runs down into that 3 inch pipe. Two inch plugs into the 45, and we ran right out to daylight over here. And that's gonna drain the sump. I had a little thing on the end of it. We'll drain the sump and the eave trough both. Got good pitch in it too, you can see the pitch in it. So we're gonna bury that right now, and we can start framing up our. Uh, just about beer 30 though today. Almost six o'clock, so I'm gonna call it. So guys, as you can see, we got all the stone dust down here. Evan's uh, tamping it off with the tamper, the plate tamper. Um, we ended up, like I said, we used every bit of that stone dust. As you can see there to the left, I didn't video it, but we. We dug out an area for the a 10 by 10 area for where the hot tub's going to go. They end up moving the hot tub. You know, they wanted a, they wanted a spot just for the hot tub, not even on the patio. So that's what that square is off to the left. So we always tamp everything after we prepare it. So same thing with this this stone dust. I don't usually use stone dust, but it was here, so it's a good material. It's, it's more expensive than. You know the stuff I usually use would be crushed rock and you know it's a little harder to work with but the stone dust here was nice it spread real easy we're able to actually screed it right off just like concrete so over here I'm just digging this down a little bit um, the pavers weren't as thick as the concrete's gonna be so we're trying to pour this concrete five five and a half inches thick uh, we're gonna use a four thousand pound concrete exterior grade concrete we're going to color the concrete and we're going to stamp it so like i said earlier we're going to do another video on so stay tuned guys like i said if you haven't subscribed to my channel go ahead we got a lot of stamp crete if you guys want to learn how to do stamp crete i got a lot of tips and tricks on that too so well guys that's pretty much it for this video and thanks again for watching and i hope i'll see you on the next one okay guys this is what we got Got it all graded off. Put a conduit in for the hot tub. Comes over to here. And we're gonna pour this section first. That's why this board's in here. We're gonna pour this whole section where the hot tub goes on that section. We're gonna do that on Friday. And then we will pour the sidewalk and this section here on Saturday. This section here. That's the game plan because it's pretty warm out. So we don't want to do it all in the hot sun and have it maybe get away from us. So that's how we're gonna do it, guys. We're gonna try to I'm gonna try to border it I think. If it's not real hot. Too hot to do it. Try to run a border. That's where we're at. Two days, get her ready. Demo and prep, two days. We're gonna put some wire mesh and poly down here in a minute. I gotta go to work though.